Hey friends, happy Friday. Hope you had a great week and we've been digging in theologically into the whole argument about is Jesus the Messiah? And this preacher in this sermon called Hebrews, we call it the book of Hebrews, is trying to explain all of the reasons why Jesus is the Messiah. He, his humanity proves it, his authority shows it, his Sabbath rest gives it, and yesterday we talked about him, the high priest, and now he intervenes forever for us. Today we look at the crux of the argument of this, this letter or this sermon. It's the reminder that once we've been given this faith, there's no other option if we reject it. And, and boy, a lot of people argue about this text. Let me give you a, sim, a synopsis of it today. Hebrews chapter 6, he's warning those who believe in Jesus not to reject the faith because there's no other option if you do. And then in verse 11, he says, we want each of you to demonstrate the same faith and perseverance from the full or final reala realization of your hope. So you won't become lazy in your faith, but be imitators of Jesus in it. Now, all that, so let's, let's break this down. What he's saying is people risk their salvation if they reject it. Now, some people hear that and they're like, no, God saved, he once saved, always saved, he's always going to save us. That's partially true. When Jesus paid for our sin on the cross, he paid for it permanently. That you can't sin your way out of your salvation. So let me just be really clear about this. When you surrender to Jesus, you receive a permanent salvation. You, you're given a gift that all of your sin, past, present, and future, is paid for on the cross. You can't sin your way out of your salvation. You can hurt your, your eternity and your rewards, but you can't sin your way out of your salvation. But the writer in Hebrews, this preacher, is also telling you what Jesus warned us about. Jesus warned us that the love of most will grow cold. They will reject my plan. He told some people that the one unpardonable sin is to reject the Holy Spirit or to reject the salvation that you were given and, and pursue something else. And if you and I do that, there is no other option for us. He's not going to come again and die on another cross. He's already done that. So it's our choice. And just as it's our choice to surrender to him to receive the salvation, you still have the choice while you're on this earth to reject it if you want to. He will abide by your choice. Now, I want to encourage you with that because <laughs> you've got this whole life to receive it. And if you've, if you've failed, if you've fallen short, if you've fallen away, or if, even if you have rejected it, he's ready to receive you back. And that confession of faith that Peter made is the one that you need to make every day of your life. I believe with all my heart that he is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And every day that you make that, that confession, that choice, you're confirming your salvation again. Now, I, I just want you to hear that clearly. That's what Hebrews is writing. We don't expect you to fall. We expect you to be successful and to be faithful. And that's why the writer is saying we want each of you to demonstrate that by continuing to imitate Jesus. You have an incredible gift from God. It's, it's the reminder every day on the cross that he has paid for your salvation. So all you have to do is keep receiving it and doing your best to live as an imitator of the one who gave it to you. God bless you in that. We'll look forward to continuing our study in Hebrews next week and uh, navigating through this amazing theological study about Jesus. Look forward to that. Have a great weekend. We'll see you then.